Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we are going to build this LEGO Technic set. Now, it's been a while since I've built a Technic set, and funny thing about it though is Technic is what brought me out of my Dark Ages. So, you know, it's it's kind of a, like a coming home to me of building a Technic set, because I love Technic sets. It's my favorite theme of all the LEGO themes. So this is the compact tracked loader. It's a relatively small set, only 252 pieces, and probably at least 70 or 80 of them are probably those little tank treads there. So it's roughly about 200 pieces. You can see on the back on the artwork here they have the alternate build. So it's you can use the same pieces that you use to build this to build this snow groomer, but don't get confused, you can't build both of them without taking one apart. So, you either have to take it apart or buy two sets. I will just be building the, the first model. I won't build the alternate one. So we have a um, tractor scoop here. And we have some unnumbered bags. So this bag has most all the tank treads in it with some bushings and a few other connector pieces. We have another small bag. We've got two loose beams that are just in the box. And we have two instruction books. We have a book for the alternate model. And we have a book for the main model. Now they usually put both instruction books in these medium-sized models. The larger models usually, oh, and there's one other thing in there, there's a little sticker sheet, didn't even see that. Um, so the bigger models, they usually just put one instruction book in, and they leave it up to you if you want to disassemble that main model and build the alternate model. But if you want that on those bigger sets, you have to go to their website, the Lego website, and you can actually download the alternate model instructions off of their website. So I guess with these smaller models, it's easy enough to disassemble it, and it doesn't take nearly as long to assemble it versus the, the larger flagship type models which can take you know 8 to 12 hours depending on the size and complexity and how many breaks you take I mean if you're building for that long it's it's gonna be a lot of a lot of building so you have to have strong fingertips with the Technic models because these pins each one of these pins you have to push in there and you can see as I'm pushing it in there I'm having to squeeze it so after a while your fingertips get pretty sore from all of that squeezing of the ridged ABS So with the Technic models, of course, you start from the inside out. So one of the last things we'll be doing is putting on any panels or framework that makes it look like a tractor. So we're literally starting from the, that, the middle. So our first sticker is already on. It's that little warning striped sticker. Alright, so we've got this piece, and then a lot of Technic sets you have to build what are called sub-assemblies. So you have to build something all completely different, and then you will connect it to that little frame part that I just built. So, we'll start off with this long axle with a stop. Two of the half bushings. And two of the half bushings equals one bushing, so kind of makes me wonder sometimes why we couldn't just put one 
full bushing on there. It's like, why do you have to use two half bushings when they basically are the same thing? <clears throat> I have some theories about it, but I'm not going to get into that right now. And the other thing with Technic is you have to make sure not to um, push these all the way completely tight because you need room for the stuff to turn. So try not to squeeze everything real tight. So now at the end, that's when we use our full bushing for some reason. Okay, so that's the first part. We have another little part that goes with it. Another little half bushing. that lined up. Another axle. So be careful with the axles and they, they give you a little cheat sheet in the instructions to where you can line them up. Um, because they all kind of look the same but they are for the most part you'll get quite a few different links in the um, in the set. So if you hold it up to the the one-to-one -one diagram in the instruction book, you can verify you have the right length. Right. So that and this. Little crank piece. And I've built enough Technic sets to where I can pretty much pick out the right length piece by now. It took me quite a while to, to be able to do it, but I can definitely pick out the right length without having to use the chart. These little things are trying to hide from me. I got it. One more of the gear piece. So there's our first gearbox piece. So by turning this black axle, it's connected to this warm gear. And when the warm gear turns, it turns this bigger dark bluish gray gear. And then you can see these pieces that are attached to it are turning around. Turn it and it comes back around. That's our little gearbox. Next up.
that is good. Now we're going to bring over this first part that we built and we can more or less attach it like this. So you can see this orange lift arm has a axle hole there and then it's all pin holes all the way down to that other axle hole. So we're going to put this gray axle into that axle hole. You can see it holds it right in there. We'll take what's essentially the other side and build it and sandwich it together. So it's all sandwiched together. You can see our little gear function box still works. And that kind of shows you how we're working from the inside out because this is the inner workings of the, the tracked loader. All right, next up, we're actually going to build the seat. And it's a very rare amount of Technic models that are blue colored. Um, they did come out with the rescue plane this year and it has a lot of blue in it. There was a tipper type truck probably four years ago that had a lot of blue in it. Um, that's really been it. So when you see blue pieces in a Technic model, it's usually the seats. That's where they've traditionally always used blue. And you'll see that whenever the seat is in there, that it really does kind of make it stand out as the seat. We have a seat, but we don't have any minifigures to actually go in the model. Um, the Technic models are usually built all at slightly different scales, so it's hard to get a Technic-sized minifigure. See, we've got some hand controls there to control the bucket element and maybe the, the steering and everything. Um, it's been years, but they released some Technic minifigures at one point, and they did not look anything like your standard Lego minifigure. So they were odd. They kind of look like they kind of look like miniature GI Joe figures or action figure. If that even makes sense. But it, they were released when I was in my dark ages, and they weren't even released in that many sets. But after looking at them, I'm kind of I don't I don't feel like I missed anything. 
They're, they're, they don't appeal to me. Like, if I had them, great. But it's nothing that I seek out and have to have. They just don't look that great to me. And that's probably why they don't make them anymore. Well, in addition to that also, they um, they still didn't fit in every single model, since every model was different. I mean, how do you make every single Technic model the same scale? Alright, these are our last two stickers. It's basically some control panels that we're putting on these little cheese slope Lego system pieces. Nice and carefully put it on. So there's our control panel. That just slides right over those axles that are sticking up. Next up is our protective cage. So this is a newer piece. It's basically a a Technic friction pen. It's a half of a friction pen with a um, pin connector that's perpendicular to it. So that's a newer piece to me. I believe I've seen it in other sets. I know it's not necessarily new for this set, it's just I haven't built a Technet set in so long. I'd, there's probably a lot of newer pieces that I have. I've been buying the sets, I just haven't been building them. So that's the problem. It's probably all those pieces and all the sets I already have. I just need to actually start opening them and building them. Light. Next up is some more lights. I like the way they're integrating some Lego system pieces into the, the Technic model. Oops, and I forgot to put one of those perpendicular pieces on. Easily squeeze it in there. Alright. This element attaches there. We've got some trans clear cheese slopes. Nice big spotlight, headlight type thing on the front. A couple of axles with stops on the ends. And these white angled axle joiners. This slides right on top of these two axles that are already sticking up right there. Touch. Our cage doesn't open, it's a fixed cage, which is okay. Alright, now we have another little sub build. Now we'll build these on the table occasionally because sometimes it's easier to to snap the the pins in. And it's actually 
sitting on a table. This whole piece. Bring our model over. We have to be careful because there's actually three connection points. The first one is this pin. The next one is these two axles. Starting the look of the bucket arms. So next up is this little frame piece. smokestack piece right there. It's actually a Lego system smokestack versus using um, a lot of times what Technic will use is these little round pin connectors. They'll stack three or four of them on there and call it a smokestack. So this one they actually use the Lego City smokestack which it works because it's the right scale. the little bucket element or the, the lifting mechanism for it. The bucket is already pre-molded. Arm. There we go. Now we're going to do the other side. Dropped a pin, that's alright. They give us extras. Always do. So I'm not even gonna pick that one out. I'll wait till the video's over, then I'll pick it up. Alright, so this one is just like the other one. We have to align it just right. two additional connection points down here. Get those on. Try to get this on. Okay, that looks 
good. Looks like it's all on there pretty well. Right. Next is one of these. All right, it's coming together. It's starting to look like something. This is going to be the little fork assembly that will help pick up things with the bucket. Good. Come over here. This attaches to that one friction pen. We have this eight long axle with a stop on the end. We're going to slide all the way through this left arm, which will go through the bucket holes, all the way to the other side of the left arm. Like that. Bring it around, carefully holding it so it doesn't come apart. Attach the left arm and a bushing to hold it together. Next up is a wheel assembly for our tracks. There, or a couple wheels, sorry. And this simply attaches there. And there's four more wheels, so we have six total on this side. It should be the same on the other side. And we have 32 of the tank treads alright so there's ten what I'm going to do is lay down those 10 and then I can just continue to build a second strand of them and then just pop off the right length because I know I need three strands of 10 plus two more so that will give me my 32.
This is the boring part of Technic because there's nothing that you can do. I mean, other than having your your friends come over and build tank treads for you, there's nothing you can do to speed this process up. It's just slow. It's slow because the little connection points are so small. You have to carefully line them, line them up. It's like threading a needle. You can't do it real quick. You have to carefully line it up and then push it through. But hey, once it's done, it's done. And if you ever disassemble the model, don't disassemble the tank treads. Just unsnap one link. You can pull it off of the model, and then once it's off, leave them all connected, kind of like the way they are now. You can just put them in your Lego storage bin like that, and they'll stay together pretty well. I have all of my tank treads in one storage container, and they're all linked together. Not all in one strand, but when I took them off the models, I just kept them together based on whatever came off the model. So if I ever need to pull some out, they're real easy to pull out because they're all, each strand is connected. Alright, I think I'm going to stop now because I should have more than enough to get me my 32. So there's a 10 length there. There's another 10 there. And there's another 10 plus two more. Yep. Right. I'm going to leave this 10 linked together. That way I can use it for the next, next little wheel. So you line it up basically and wrap it around and connect it. There you go. There's your little tank tread. Go ahead and snap that on there. Cool. Now to the other side. these wheels. Alright, so there's the next little wheel assembly. So now we need to get some more tank treads. So, so I already have 10. Let's do another 22. So we got two, four, Wow. 
two, one. Right, so that should get it. So there's a ten. And out of ten, it's twenty-two. Second one, attach it. I said attach it. There we go. Check it out. Looks like a tractor loader, doesn't it? So we have um, a couple extra pieces, and I see a mistake that I made. That we shouldn't have one of these. An extra. I could probably put it back on there. It's basically this little joiner piece. Should all be one. Done. There you go. Our tracked a little. So here's the extras. We have two extra tank treads. We have a full bushing, we have a half bushing, a red or a trans red stud, a friction pin with a axle, we have a non-friction pin, non-friction pin with a stud, a non-friction pin with a half connector, it's not quite a stud but it's a half connector, black cheese, a trans clear cheese, and our other friction pen that I dropped on the floor. So that's our extras. But we don't care about that. We got this cool track loader. So we have these hand levers that lift up and down the little fork. And then you have this lever over here that works the bucket. And then of course our gear back here that we turn, you can see now that everything's connected, you can uh, work it like that. Push that down, pull that up, scoop something, and then close it down, lift it up. it up and roll off with it. See how high it'll go. Pretty high. It's all the way up there. So that is Pretty darn cool. Like I said, I'm a fan of Technic and I see another little piece that I missed. So many of these connectors that have to be connected right. Alright, so let's bring this back down. When it gets too high, the little fork piece won't stay closed on it. So that is it. That is really cool. I like that. So tell me your thoughts. Do you like this? I think it's pretty cool. But you guys are the ones to be the judge of that, right? Doesn't matter what I think. So thanks for watching. Um, tell me if you like the Technic builds. I, I have a lot of Technic sets to build. And if you guys want to watch them, I'll build them. Because I love Technic. So um, I'll do it. And hey, if you want to see the alternate model, you know maybe I'll dig out some extra pieces I have and just build that. And we can have both of them because I know I probably have all these pieces laying around anyway. So that's it for this one. Put a comment down below. Make sure to share with your friends. Put a like and we'll see you next time.